Today, we are taking a look at Deathstorm, a character you may be familiar with because of the Blackest Night comic or the Flash TV show where they took this design and used it in, I believe, Season 8. I could be very wrong, but I think it was Season 8. Um, and that was really cool to see him in live action for the first time ever. Uh, but that was it. <laughs> that was Those were the only few episodes that I actually watched, and then I dipped out so yeah as for accessories he does come with one accessory and i'm glad he came with this because it would have been really bad if he didn't even come with this at all a black lantern battery just like the green lanterns you got to include the green lantern battery the black lanterns also have their own you know lantern battery that they have to use so very nice that he came with that and that is it that's all he came with. He didn't come with any other accessory. No interchangeable hands. No Firestorm Matrix effects. Nothing. It is just as bare minimum. I don't even want to call it the bare minimum. Because that's not even bare minimum. It is as bare bones as the other two figures that we looked at previously that had no accessories. Except for the build pieces. So, yeah. Um... Back then, I didn't think much about it because, you know, I was just excited for this wave and I paid for these figures. Um, I didn't pay for them full price, but, you know, I was relatively still, like, adjusting to the figure hobby. I didn't know much about the ins and outs of, like, prices and how, you know, certain things should have more value to them in terms of what they should come with. And as I figured that out slowly more and more, this is why nowadays when figures don't come with much in the box, I am beginning to, you know, realize that this is a ripoff. <laughs> so, yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, who is Deathstorm? Well, there's one thing that these figures do come with, and... We are going to find out who Deathstorm is for those who don't know who he is. So there is your data profile card. You can see the amazing artwork of what he looks like. And yes, he doesn't have the glowing thing on the figure. Because this type of color scheme does not translate well in plastic. I will just put that out there. Um, maybe on a statue if they paint it with like crazy you know, painting skills, it will look good. In action figures, they tend to paint it you know, enough to the point where it just looks good. It won't go to the levels of what statues do, so. All right, real name, Ronald Ronnie Raymond. The result of the deceased Firestorm being taken part, taken host by Black Lantern Ring, Deathstorm joined the ranks of the undead Black Lanterns, set on destroying all life as we know it throughout the universe. As a key threat in Blackest Night, Deathstorm is part of the siege on Earth to defend the Black Lantern Battery and tasked with fighting the remaining members of the Justice League. So, basically, the story to Blackest Night, in a nutshell, is the fact that you basically have these space zombies. <laughs> I don't, well, they're not from space, but they are using powers that are cosmic, right? So that's why I call them space zombies. And they are basically a threat to the entire universe, to everything that's living. And that is basically the wildness of Blackest Night as a storyline. But it makes for a very fun storyline. That's exactly why this is one of my favorite stories within the uh, Green Lantern mythos. So yeah. And it was also a big crossover event too. It wasn't just Green Lanterns. It was every single Lantern core coming together. Um, with other superheroes that were not even Green Lanterns. So, yep, there's that. As for the figure, aesthetic-wise, there's a really good uh, head sculpt for the face. I mean, that is a very nicely sculpted, uh, you know, skull face with, I guess, fire coming out of his head. Um, I remember when this figure was announced, someone in the comments on the Facebook page for McFarlane uh, where he usually drops all the news for his new and up-and-coming stuff. Uh, someone suggested that this head sculpt would be a good custom head sculpt for a 7-inch Ghost Rider. Like in the 7-inch scale. And I can see it. 
it looks really good. If you can customize this head sculpt into that with a different body, oh yeah, you definitely probably could rock with a seven inch like uh, Ghost Rider figure just from this head sculpt. So that is a pretty cool idea. Um, as for his costume, he does have that similar sort of like, you know, pattern that the other figures had as well. He has a triangle, so you can see that that's part of the Black Lantern design. He does have a lot of, like, wear and tear on his suit. Like, he's been, you know, dead for a long time. He's been buried. He was buried in his suit. And then all of a sudden, he's now being raised from the dead. And this suit is basically covered in all kinds of muck or whatever. So, yeah, there's all that nice sculpting there. But that that's pretty much it when it comes to, like, that sculpt. It's the same thing like the other figures that we looked at in the previous two videos where, again, it's just this one sort of color scheme that hides a lot of the textures. I mean, from the distance, you can probably see the, oh, <laughs> you can see the shoulder sculpting, right? Like, you can see the sculpt work on the shoulders, but when you go further and further away, you can't even see any of the details from the costume but if you you know zoom in closer then you can see all that nice texture that's all there and i really love that they put the texture in there even if they are you know hidden behind just this one particular paint color that's from head to toe because it really does give emphasis that these figures were treated with a lot of care than just a flat you know surface so yeah um, his arm gauntlets are also like that too to me, where in a far away setting, so if you had this on a shelf and you just look from uh, further away because you're not close to it, these arm gauntlets do look like they can be hidden by the same paint. Um, it's only his feet that are not, or not his feet, I mean the, you know, the leg armor down here that's actually a lighter sort of gray. It's not like really light, but light enough to where it's visible so yeah as for articulation for this guy he does have your standard mcfarlane articulation however because these shoulder pieces are in the way he will not be able to go all the way with his arms all the way up so you can't do that um he can only go this up and he does have a uh, double jointed articulation and the sculpt work on that um, joint right there it does kind of fit in with the rest of the area with the you know the arm down here with the wrinkles so it doesn't look as ugly he does have um your usual ball peg sort of like a swivel for the hands so they do articulate he does have articulation in the head but it's very very limiting he can't look up he can't look down he can barely turn his head side to side um and he can tilt side to side i don't know about other people's copies but mine is very restricted his torso is also very restricting it's very tight on mine um i haven't gotten to move because i'm scared i might break something i might heat it up but it's not really necessary because <laughs> i've seen the torso articulation on this figure it is not impressive so even if you're trying to get him into like some sort of flying pose, yeah, it could do the trick, but it's not going to be the best for that, I guess, if you want to put it into that sort of uh, category where you'd rather him just stand like a badass holding that lantern battery, right? So, and on top of that, his legs, they spread out this far, right? So that's still good, but they only kick out about this far because the uh our, the waist piece it's soft in the front but on the back there's like a thicker layer to it for some reason so it's not like a soft piece entirely he does have you know double articulation um i would say that it's okay it's good it's kind of ugly looking as well when you get it all the way so there's that problem um, he does have feet articulation and toe articulation. So everything that you expect on a McFarlane figure to have, he has in terms of articulation. And that is it for articulation and aesthetics. Very nice figure.
Now, how does he look with his wave mates? In terms of wave mates, I mean just the black lanterns. Um, looks good. I like the way he looks with the Black Lantern characters. I mean, that's a pretty good trio right there, right? And if you want to throw in uh, Necron in the background, yeah, it's pretty cool too. So, in all in all, I mean, all in all, um, this is a really good set of figures to have, right? Uh, if you want to have like a tiny Black Lantern shelf, it's there. It is unfortunate that we won't see any more Black Lantern figures from this line for a while because it's already been two to three years since this wave came out and they have not released new Black Lantern figures, which is kind of sad. Um, but again, this is the problem with the Lantern side of things when it comes to this particular line because... McFarlane is very heavy focused with Batmans, right? Like, he has to release a Batman every single time. And even when we get other characters that we haven't gotten yet, it's already, like, taking a long time for even those. So the fact that... What I mean is, the fact that we want more Black Lanterns, it's not going to happen. It will happen eventually, but who knows when. If the line is still around, right? So, um... Having these three with Necron is the best. Um, of course, if they do make more in the future, that will always be welcome. And I hope they do. So, with that said, if you found this review informative of who Deathstorm is, if this figure is good or bad, I will say this figure is decent. It will get the job done as a Deathstorm on your shelf. Um, it's not the best figure. There's no such thing as a perfect figure. But I would probably give it like an 8 out of 10. If I had to do a rating. Um, so yeah. Um, but with that said. If you found this video informative. Give it a like. If you want to subscribe to my channel. You can do that as well. You don't have to. And with that. Take care. And I will see you in the next video.